Yo, what's up, YouTube? Um, it's gonna be my first video from kind of video gaming stuff, I guess. Um, right now I'm on my Mac. Uh, I've got everything ready for this video. Um, right now I'm gonna teach you guys how to um, get this game. Where is it? Um, for the Mac. Oh, it's not in my applications folder, but it's called Nido uh, Three Two One O, I think, or One Two Three O or something like that, uh, Legends, for Mac, it's a drag racing game, for, uh, it's kind of like a, I don't know, it's just a really addicting game, I do it, I am going to teach you guys how to install via crossover games, which is basically a utility that, um, many, uh, Mac people use to install, uh, what's it called, um, Windows, uh, EXE files, or Windows games or stuff like that. So I'm gonna go ahead and just open crossover games since I'm recording. It might take a while. So uh, what you have to do is go to Google or your uh, web browser rather and type in um, uh, crossover games uh, Mac, and you just want to download the trial version. So to bring you up to the Code Weavers <laughs> uh, website. Just do download free trial now, put in your name and email. They won't send you any spam, don't worry about that. They probably won't even keep your email. I, or I haven't gotten anything from them, but yeah. And then you can do a fake email, it doesn't really matter. It still lets you download it. So download it, uh, I guess. Put it in your um, applications folder, be it like a DMG or something like that. So put that in your uh, applications folder. Let me find my lines right here. And then that will only, when you open it, it'll only say that you have a 15 day trial. So I'm going to show you guys. Everyone knows about this basically. It was crossover. It's a media fire link. It, I'll post that in the description. Um, this is basically the patch for it. Just download that. And then, uh, yeah, you should be good to go. Um, I have that right here. So let me just open it. It'll come up with like a little ad for a special K or whatever. And then you basically just uh, drag crossover games into here from your applications folder, click patch, and it'll uh, make it extended forever, basically. So now what you want to do is you get your exe file, which I have on my desktop right here. I don't know why it's showing up as a GIF or whatever the hell they call it. Um, but it's an exe file, so just type in Nido1320 uh, Legends. It'll bring you, uh, go to the NidoLegends.com, click uh, play now, and it'll bring you up to this. Uh, just do download now, free or whatever, um, it'll bring you up to the EXE, and it'll probably should come out with the crossover games type logo there. Let me just cancel that, put out a Safari. Now, this is the only hard part basically, so this isn't even that hard. So once you get to crossover games, it might come up with like a little thing saying like install bottle or whatever. But I usually just, I do never show that again because I am comfortable with this. So what you want to do, if you just close out of that and then go to configure install software. Now what it'll come up with, or right, these are all just supported things that are like the most popular, which people like, like to download. <laughs> So, um, go to unsupported applications and make sure it is down so that all these go or whatever. But you, you don't really need to do that, but I just like to. So, what you want to do is go to unsupported applications. Under that will be community support applications or something. And then just go to other application and it says not supported by Code Weavers. Um, uh, cancel installation. This is just an old thing that I was uh, doing. Come on. Okay. So, okay. Install software. Yeah, let me cross out that. Okay. Install software. And then what you want to do is go to other application. Proceed. It'll say choose installer file. So that'll be your exe file that you got from nidolegends.com. So let me go to my desktop where I saved that. Nido Legends setup full.exe. So now it'll come up with that, it'll say the root to where it is, and then just click, uh, we'll install it to a new bottle, you name it whatever you want, let me just take off this little thing there, and hopefully this will work. So I'll just name it like Nido Legends Game.exe, 
Uh, I'd suggest putting the .exe at the end. Even though it's a Mac computer, it'll just become a better bottle. Uh, and I found that works best is the Windows XP bottle. I don't know why, but that just works the best. Um, you, I'm pretty sure you could use Vista. I don't know about 98. You definitely can use 2000. So not bad. But now what you want to do is just click install, and it'll basically just create the bottle. This might take a while. Uh, mine already happened because I probably already have it. And then what'll pop up is like a little installation right here, and it looks like a Windows installation. Just go through it basically. Uh, Select where you want to install it to. You can create a desktop icon and just click install. It'll write the files. Um, I'll just keep the video going uh, since it's not that long. I'll just show you guys what it looks like at the end. Um, the one thing that I have been having trouble with um, when I first install it, it's installed it. Once this finishes, you want to click finish, and then the installing of the application might go for a long time. Uh, that actually happened to me. The first time I tried it, it stayed right there, and it wouldn't like go all the way. So, and then uh, the crossover game stopped responding. So what you want to do is, if that happens, just force quit it, and then try it again, and it'll definitely work the second time. So let me just quit out of the Safari. All right. I think I just quit the car over again, so it doesn't really matter, because I already have that. So, uh, that's basically that. Let me just show you what the game actually looks like. I just quit crossover games by accident, but after that, just click finish, and it'll come up with a desktop icon if you click, if you, uh, chose to. And, uh, what will probably be is under programs here, so I have Cheat Engine, which doesn't even work for Nido anymore. And I have two here. This one uh, was when I had the free trial before the patch. So this one is the one that works. And I will show you guys uh, what it looks like. So it'll come up in like a little box type thing like that. And it doesn't go full screen, which is quite annoying. But it's good enough. And then here's your game. Uh, you can minimize it, make it, uh, or make it big. That's what she said. Um, so I'm gonna, I usually just choose the, do the normal, you know, like, kind of, just have it in the middle, and then, uh, I could do other things, I could run Minecraft while doing it, uh, I can have my server open for Minecraft, so Macs are pretty good, I mean, you get, it doesn't take much to run the game via crossover, it just, remember, once you install it, don't delete crossover ever, because it has to have crossover to run through. Um, like, once you install the bottle, it doesn't just open by itself. Um, some people have installed it via Wine, and that's more complicated. Half the time it doesn't even work. Uh, Wine, in my opinion, is really unreliable. So, yeah. So that's basically it, guys, and uh, I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. So, yeah. See ya.